Sometimes you just want to make really perfect prints with your stamps. In this video I show you how you can make perfect opaque prints of your stamps using water soluble block printing colors. In this episode I want to uh, tell you about stamping with block printing color. This is a water-based ink especially made for printing. Think uh, about lino prints for example. This is just a really regular ink and it is not uh, used a lot in the crafters world because it's a really specific type of paint. You cannot really paint with it because it is really sticky. Uh, it is uh, designed especially for printing. I was stamping uh, examples with the stamps I've designed for badass stamps and I really love stamps a lot. I have studied graphic design and, but when I st uh, chose that study I was really in doubt because there were two departments at art school uh, when I was there studying and the one was the 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 contemporary uh, studies and the other, the applied arts like graphic design, photography, fashion, illustration, um, uh, vide videography, well all that kind of applied arts. And the, the opposite of graphic design was, well, uh, graphic art. And I really love that and I actually wanted to choose that because uh, I, I've always been a big fan of anything that has to do with printing, printing techniques. Um, but I figured that I could uh, make a better living being a graphic designer, so I chose graphic design. Anyway, uh, from that time I still <laughs> I still have these block printing inks. And when I was making, um, so they're like 15 years old <laughs> or older, 17 years old. Anyway, uh, I didn't really use them um, anymore. They're still really good, but they're really old. I was looking for inks uh, to use with the stamps I've designed for Badass Stamp Studio, uh, but I couldn't find the, the right color. And every time when I liked the color, uh, it was really not as vibrant as I wanted it to be. Uh, I know that Colorbox has really beautiful inks, but uh, often they're still not as opaque as I want them to be. And then I figured, uh, hey, I still have those block printing colors somewhere, somewhere. And I decided to test them and it works really well. I chose for a somewhat more pastel look and by adding white it also becomes a little more opaque than this. But um, I mix those uh, white and magenta block printing colors and uh, start braying this. It may look like a regular uh, acrylic paint like this, but uh, the problem with acrylic is that you cannot use acrylic paint on clear stamps because you will really ruin your um, stamps with it because the acrylic paint will dry as a plastic layer and you will give uh, a very eerie structure on your stamps and you do not want that. You can use uh, for example gouache which is also a water uh, based paint but it will not work as well because um, well uh, gouache is a watercolor and not uh, designed for printing. But this block print is really sticky like uh, printing inks. It also smells like printing workshops. I love this smell. And then I'll add a good layer of the printing ink. And you already see that it's really beautiful opaque layer. Oops, I've got this shoe here. And well, you can imagine that when I first printed this, and it is this really beautiful opaque perfect layer, like this, I screamed hallelujah! So I thought that you wanted to know this too, because well, it's just 
perfect, a perfect way to uh, make perfect prints of all your clear stamps, rubber stamps, whatever stamps. It's really fun and it isn't even that expensive. These uh, are about 450 each, so it's not really cheap, but if you compare them with the price of a stamp pad, they're just as expensive while you can make hundreds and hundreds of prints with this. You really need a very little color. It stays sticky for quite a while. I just use it on paper now, but you can also brayer this on uh, a plastic sheet and it will not uh, dry really fast. You can uh, keep on using it for, well, a couple of minutes at least. Uh, you see that the print is already dry and it is just really a really beautiful opaque layer so you can make uh, beautiful uh, backgrounds like these also on colored paper paper and what I did here was I just um, with the excess um, paint from my brayer I just went over it for a bit just to add a, a bit of extra color videos please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video thank you bye